Bila shaka hujambo, mimi ni Castus Busolo kutoka hapa Big Star TV. Naibu Waziri wa Nchi ofisi ya Makamu wa Rais Muungano na Mazingira Mheshimiwa Ahmad Hassan Chande amezindua mradi wa urejeshwaji endelevu wa mazingira na hifadhi ya Bionua mkoa ni Mbeya ikiwa ni njia moja wapo ya kutatua changamoto za uharibifu wa mazingira. Akizungumzia lengo kubwa la uanzishwaji wa mradi huo Mheshimiwa Hassan Chande mbele ya wadau mbalimbali wa mazingira amesema dhumuni kubwa ni kuhakikisha wanatunza mazingira ikiwemo misitu na ardhi ingawa kumekuwa na changamoto kadha wa kadha na serikali tayari imezichukua changamoto hizo na inaendelea kuzitendea kazi kuhakikisha mazingira ya Tanzania yanakuwa salama. Upo muhimu mkubwa leo kuzindua mradi huu wa uanzishwaji wa ardhi Uh, kama katika uhandisi wake kutokana na uharibifu mkubwa sana wa mazingira ambao unafanyika ndani ya nchi yetu kwa sababu ya shughuli za kibinadamu za kiuchumi za kila siku kwa mfano kilimo holela ukataji miti ovyo e, ufugaji ambao hauna mipango mizuri e, hizi umetupelekea leo tuzindue mradi huu ili kurejeleza ardhi ambayo tumeshaiathiri ama mazingira ambayo tumeshaiathiri kwa kiasi kikubwa sana ili kusudi tuweze kuishi kwa furaha bila taharuki katika nchi yetu. Mradi huu utakuwa na mafanikio makubwa sana kwa wananchi. Kwanza viumbe hai au wanawai ambao walikuwa wameshapotea e, baadhi ya mimea ambayo ilikuwa imeshapotea itarudi sasa katika uhalisia wake. Watakuwepo wanyama ambao wameshaanza kupotea na baadhi ya mimea ambayo imetoweka watarudi kuwepo. Lakini pili watapata taaluma kubwa sana wananchi ya kutumia nishati mbadala. E, watakuwa wanatumia nishati mbadala kwa <coughs> majiko maalum ambayo yametengenezwa watapatiwa wananchi ili kusudi wapunguze ukataji wa miti katika harakati zao za maandalizi ya nyumbani na nje ya uh, ya majumba yao Aidha Mheshimiwa Chande amewataka baadhi ya wanasiasa kuacha kuwatetea wananchi wanaoharibu vyanzo vya maji makusudi kupitia kilimo holela na ufugaji holela kwa kile wanachodai kuwa wale ni wapiga kura wao hivyo wawaache tu hata kama wanachokifanya ni uharibifu. Tumejipanga vizuri tuna mkakati maalum na tutatoa seminar. Nadhani kesho Ijumaa tutakuwa na seminar ya kamati maalum ya viwanda, uh, biashara na mazingira kuhusu utunzaji wa mazingira bila kujali kuna kura ya nani ipo nini tuthamini kwanza umuhimu wa mazingira katika majimbo yetu na vitongoji vyetu ili kusudi nchi yetu iwe imesimama imara na tusiwe wa, wa mwisho baadhi ya nchi zetu za Afrika hapa Rwanda tu wanapata fedha zilizo nyingi lakini wanapata sifa wanapata credit ulimwenguni kwa sababu ya utunzaji wa mazingira hatuwezi kushindwa kwa mipango ambayo tumeiandaa leo kutunza mazingira yetu na tukawa ni nafasi ya kwanza ulimwenguni. Kwa upande wake bi Victoria Lako ambaye ni mwakilishi wa shirika la mazingira la Umoja wa Mataifa UNEP amesema changamoto ya uharibifu wa mazingira ipo katika nchi zote duniani zinazoendelea na zile zilizoendelea na ndio maana wameamua kushikamana na Tanzania kuhakikisha wanaitokomeza kabisa changamoto hiyo. Everyone is suffering and that's why the leaders of the world are currently discussing in Glasgow in a conference of parties how we can find an arrangement so that developed countries can support better developing countries and um, the discussion is on what measures can be taken to change the way our economies function so that um, every country can benefit. So it's not the problem of one or another country, it's a global program that affects everybody. There is discussions and negotiations going on right now and um, developing countries, developed countries are represented in these negotiations because as you say there needs to be an agreement on reducing the pollution that is being made and supporting better and restoring and conserving the natural resources that we have now. Because if we don't conserve what we have, we can continue to plant trees, but it will be very difficult. It will be very difficult that we can live in this planet. Mimi ni Kastu Sibusolo kutoka Big Star TV.